doesn't matter because right now we're watching Jen and Tilde, period. Yep, this is one heck of a winner's finals considering the caliber of players at this event. These two guys are definitely one of them. And, oh, has it been, um, it's been a while since Tilda's won a Xeno. I feel like it has been, or it could be completely wrong. All right, we're going to find that out uh, in a little bit. In the meantime, though, it's, I know it's been a while since Jen's taken a Xeno. Two weeks ago was his last Xeno. So, for him, that's a while. Uh, but I don't know. Did you see that, smash? <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's been over it's been over a month and a half since the last time Jen has won a tournament, and it looks like that was too long of a dry spell for him. And now that he's here in winners finals, he is going hard. I don't know. It's definitely looking a little scary, and he's trying to get these reads. He understands the position that he wants to be in, but just barely missing it. Oh wow, that's so good on Jen's part, and almost gonna get spiked off stage, but just barely missing. Oh, wow. Tilde. Tilde is struggling. 84% uh -oh. on his second stock, too? Not only that, but Jen is at a percentage range where... All right, finally manages to find it with the side beat. But that's the sort of position where I believe up tilt to uh, the finishers aren't going to connect anymore. And we've seen, you know, even in this bracket elsewhere, how that can be very difficult for Tilde. He can kind of struggle to uh, end stocks when he needs to get like a raw up smash or down tilt. Wow, just again, the ledge trapping is looking like it's very good right now, and gonna send him right back off stage. And be was very careful about how you recover right now. Yeah, that was that, so good. That was at a hundred and who percent? Oh wow! I mean, listen, that took it. That was really great. Wait, patience from Jen. Was that the DI? <laughs> was that the DI that did it? It looked like it because he Might exploded. Might have been DI. I, I don't know. He, he exploded so hard that I think it was bad DI, but he was dead anyway. That's my personal money. Um, I know he did directionally air dodge in that direction, so maybe he held that direction a little bit too long. Um, who's to say? The only thing I can say right now is that Tilde is trying to find his way back into this game. Jen not really letting him, but with this ledge trap, let's see if that might change here. Nice damage being racked up. But the question is, is he going to be able to convert it into a stock and actually keep things uh, feasible for him? Ooh, you have to be very careful about how you get off of that ledge right there. And very nice reversal right there, making it so that Tilde cannot get the kill he was looking for. Very nice on Tilde's part. And Jen immediately just trying to stop the pressure. The pressure is pressuring, and that back throw, do a little do a little twirl, a little back throw type moment, and get that stock out of here. Goodbye. Yeah. The blast zones on the side of Town and City are already smaller, and that was even further out there because of those platforms. The Honestly, what made the difference in that game, the edge guarding. The Absolutely. fact that Jen was just so consistently getting damage and getting stocks from them. The second and the third stock just beautifully taken in that regard. What a jump call out. Sheesh. That was, ooh, that was beautiful. But I, I feel like another thing, too, is that, like, it's so much to the point where it's, like, even, you know, Tilde combos cannot, like, stop the bleeding that was going on right there. Yeah. It, he didn't even really go for a lot of Tilde combos. Um, felt like instead he was opting for damage from ledge trapping instead. Ah, but as we move into this next game, I can't believe he rolled out of that. <laughs> that was, I swear, he had the, until they had his uh, timing down, but somehow Jen sneaking his way through. Uh, doesn't seem to be too much for him because he's taking about 50% almost uncontested, but, oh, Palu things. Palu Nair loops, ah ha ha. You know, the original inventor of the Nair loops was Palutena, so why didn't we call that noobs? That's just that's just that's just a question. Uh, because uh, we didn't want to make we didn't want to validate them. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! baby! I mean, I, I will say Palutena is one of those characters where if Tilde is forced to up B at that specific range, he can just choose how he wants to kill him at that point. But wow, what an up smash! Trying to get the out of shield punish gets him caught, and now we have a. Very, like, very even game between these two. Do you see how they're both kicking each other in the face? Like, it's literally the way. Like, one got a foot to the face, and then another got a foot, like, from the back. Like, I don't get it. But anyways, we're getting into the second stock, and Tilde has lost 55%. 
I mean, like, it's only a matter of time before we see him in a little bit of position, so I really want to know what he's going to actually do to kind of, you know, work around this. Well, you had uh, been mentioning before the tilde combos, and here they come. 56% already in Jin, trapped at the ledge, trapped on these platforms. Can he find his way back down to the ground? Actually does manage to, but not finding an actual, uh, you know, advantageous position. Okay, we're getting this. Ooh, that was such a sneaky roll. Didn't get to react to that, but it's still a little bit scary. Is that backer not going to take it? Just barely getting the kill, almost not yet. However, we're still in a very scary position. Yeah, especially if you look at this gen. So many, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about up tilt nearly as much anymore. You do have to worry about that side B, but at that positioning, it's instead gonna be the juggle afterwards that takes it. Now Tilde looking like he might be dead immediately. What was that forward smash? Are you kidding me? Can you tell me like a lot? These Jen has, what has changed in a matter of seconds that Jen wants to make all of these hard call-outs? Did John do something to him? <laughs> did, did John leave a mark? I mean, I, I, it, it seems like the reverse because of the way that set happened. But still, the, all of these call-outs we've been seeing from Jen has just been so amazing. And it's looking like this pressure is going to immediately cancel that out because Jen still has to get this pressure on so he can take this stock. Yeah, things are looking really grim right now for... Oh, I was going to say they're looking grim for Jen, but with these tiny little bits of opening, he's managing to claw his way back to an even game state. Look at the neutral right now between these two. Great recognition, knowing that the side B was what he was looking for. It could have led to a kill, possibly. So he just jumps right over it. Oh, no jump on the landing. That might be Ooh, it. Oh, is that... Oh, that is absolutely going to take that stock. That it was such a nice down air. Jen, I'm not sure what that was but it just wasn't right for that moment right there yeah maybe we can get a look on that replay see what maybe he was trying to cover here yeah he had that read on the jump i mm. think he was just trying to cover a shield drop or something like that maybe a spot dodge that was an intentional jab okay. yes uh, but but uh, the roll behind was just not what he was expecting. And Tilde using that opening for a beautiful down air, back air. We have a game three in winner's finals between these two stellar players here in New York. Absolutely. This is exactly what we need to get this going. However, it's just not really looking too good right now. Jen with 55% on to 0%. It's looking very scary right now. Oh, well, here come the Palu things. This stage might be good for Falco, but it also has its advantages for Palu as well. They're completely neck and neck at the moment, but they're kind of, I like the fact that they're trading back and forth in the neutral. Nobody's really dominant at that state. However, once you uh, have Falco off stage, things do get quite dominant for Jen. Okay, are they gonna get, not gonna get that back here? However, we're still in a very bad position. Ooh, that looked like a very missed execution right there. But, wow, just gonna up air right out of that combo right there. And just trying to contain a lot of the center stage that we're seeing right now. That down air is not gonna punish it. However, we're looking for the kill right now. Oh boy. And if you tilt it, you need to, that, wow, Town and City coming in clutch. I don't think any other stage would have been to survive off the top, but not enough right there. Jen finally taking that first stock, meaning that, let's see if he can actually do anything with it. Gain a little bit of extra credit. Oh, that's the how you start. That's the combo starter, baby. Oh, that was such good positioning right there from Jen. Knew he couldn't continue the combo and still went for it anyways. And now we're at 72%. Ooh. And that backer. Very scary right now. Oh, I don't know what that bear was. He's gonna and die for down it. There. That down there is absolutely gonna take that second stock at only 100% and trying to wait, trying to, con you know, just patience right there. Trying to make sure that this bleeding does not keep on going, but it's looking like the bleeding, the horror movie, the action. You just got hacked in the we throat are, by Jason right now. We are I don't in a know. gore film. There is blood splurting out of every artery, every orifice, and. <laughs> I don't know what Tilde can do to stop it. This is a slasher film as Jen just tears right through Tilde. He's at 122, and I don't even... He's dying right there. But, like, look at this. He's still in a fantastic position. 
was, that was a really cheeky moment with the invincibility right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jen's been cheeky with invincibility. Remember, he forward smashed in the last mm -hmm. game when he mm -hmm. had it. That was such a good call out! Hello? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, what a smart option out of shield going for the down air. Oh, but the question is how much he's actually going to be able to get off of it. At 91%, Delta is not quite at death percent. But Can you tell me how he just back aired right through that nair? I did. <laughs> there oh, you well. go. Paul, it's hey, nah, uh -huh. And getting a foot to the face again oh. at 100%. I'm getting flashbacks to Tilde versus Vivi, uh -huh. a match that we thought Vivi had in the bag, and then Tilde managed to somehow run it all the way back. Will he be able to repeat that success? He needs to. He's not going to get the chance. A beautiful edge guard at the very end there. Jen taking it, securing himself a spot in. Grand finals on the winner's side. Period. Hello? Oh, wow. It was just... Oh, my God. I, I loved everything about that. Hello? There were so many situations where it was like the neutral. Jen was calling out so many things, you know, just waiting, like understanding a lot of the habits that, you know, Tilde had. However, it wasn't only that. Tilde was still being able to understand that and still punishing Jen for a lot of these whiffed options. Oh, it was there. I lied. I, I said it was there, but that it was That was there. so... Yeah, all right. That was clippable. What the heck was that? That was Palutena being Palutena. It may be spooky season, but it's it's always got a season. Not yeah. He went for that high side beam. Jen was so ready for it. I will say that the second stock... Can we look at the second stock again there? Uh, uh, the second stock of the game. When Tilde lost his uh, second stock. Yeah, this one. You notice he's off stage here? He still has a jump. He still has his resource. He jumped forward airs. That's what cost him. If he hadn't forward aired right there, if he'd gone for an up B or even like an air dodge to the ledge, he could have made it. But like he was, to the fact that Jen pulled back at the last second, he was so anticipating Jen to be there in his face that he committed to that forward air and that's what led to his death. Such smart play and positioning across the board from Jen. That's the reason why he took the game. Absolutely. That's why he reason why he took the set and that's the reason why he's in. Good job.